What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the largest mall pretty much in the whole state of Georgia and we're going to see how many sneakers we can get that are hype to buy because at these malls lately a lot of the shoes have been sitting and you've been able to get really good sneakers for the retail price. So we're going to hopefully find a lot of good shoes today to see what we can find. So let's go ahead and head into this mall, Mall of Georgia. Let's go. All right, so it looks like we have Champs, House of Hoops, we have JD Sports, Foot Locker, I think that's it. I think there should be more, but we'll see. Okay, so we're a little bit early. Some of the stores aren't even open yet, so we're gonna see if maybe we can get lucky with like a release that happens today, or like a shoe that just came in, that we can maybe get like a restock or something. I don't know. But I think it'll have a better chance being as the mall literally just open. She's not even open. There's probably like one pair of these left. And then we have some like returns and stuff, like random restocks on the back counter. I know we have a couple of 550s too. I saw that, yeah. I probably want to grab one of those. You might grab uh, we have the, the, triple, the triple black 550s too. Still got the heritage ones here. Look at that size nine and a half. That's crazy. Hey guys, just got two pairs from Foot Locker. Shout out to the viewer in there that uh, was helping us out, but we got two pairs now. I think we got some good stuff. A couple more stores here. That's just the first. So we got two more pairs from JD. I got a really good one in there and I'm excited for you guys to see it. It's one that we didn't see the first time we went in there, but we came back and we found one by the counter. So I'm excited to show you guys that. Uh, something good, so we'll see what happens. All right, we're gonna do a car run because we have four sneakers already. I think there's like one or two more stores for us to hit those. So I'm not sure how many more pairs we're gonna get. I'm hoping to get at least six. And uh, we've got the one that's like free fire in my opinion, but we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead, uh, drop these off the car, see what else we can find. All right, so we just got done dropping off the couple pairs. We're going back in. I think we have two more stores left. I thought there'd be a little bit better of a selection, but we do have one banger of a shoe that I feel like is kind of the one that makes all of this worth it for the video. But a lot of the stuff that I'm finding is stuff that I genuinely think is good that people should get at the mall because stuff is becoming more available, but you have to be there when it drops kind of thing. Like, I don't know, it's confusing. They still have like the Jordan 1 Heritage and they still have a lot of different shoes in the mall. So I think that's really good and it's getting better and better each time the weeks go by. So we're gonna go back in, hopefully grab a few more pairs and see what we can get. Okay, final pair secured. I'm very happy now with what we got. I think it's a great selection to show you guys what you can actually get without having to spend a couple hundred bucks. We're also gonna show you some options of what you can buy if you don't wanna go to the mall and you're buying on like StockX. You can find stuff below retail. So we'll show you guys that once we get back. All right guys, so we got six pairs total here. We're gonna pull them all out and show you. I think we got a good selection. Now, like I said, pairs are more and more starting to sit in stores and making it more accessible for you guys to get stuff because like I said in the past, obviously most of the stuff you see here is a little bit harder to get and a little more expensive. I did just do back to school sneakers if you didn't see that. And that basically entails sneakers that were under $250, but we're at like resale stores and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and show you guys all the different shoes we got right here. Most of them my size and I'm excited to show you what we have. Six pairs and this one right here is a Nike Dunk High. Now, I never actually knew this was coming out. I never, Nick had no clue about this either. So this is a Nike Dunk High Nike Athletic Club. So I'm not fully sure exactly what the deal is with these and why they're kind of sitting, if it's like a special release or anything. So if you can't tell, there's like a sweatman material back here, like an Alcantara or like suede, then leather here. 
and it's a little bit more cushiony than your typical dunk on the back here it says dunk i'm gonna look these up to see retail on these is 130 they're going for like 120 ish so you can get them under retail on different apps so this is to commemorate sports clubs from the 70s and 80s so they have a couple different colorways of these so that's kind of the purpose behind these i thought this was cool anything with like a dunk lower dunk high that you can get at the mall i think is not a bad deal at all so i picked those up the colorway is pretty good too you, i mean there's a lot of jordan ones that are a similar colorway but i thought this one was pretty solid as we moved on i kind of the next two are going to be pretty simple colorways that i thought are staples you can have so when having shoes obviously you want stuff you can wear often so this is a jordan one low and this is an all white jordan one low retail is a hundred dollars and you can see right here jordan one lows have been very popular obviously and it's a little bit harder to get certain colorways like these here going for like 170 dollars ish now there's a difference in these some people like the tongue that is on this pair right here it's a little bit different it's a little bit longer than this pair this is a shorter tongue a lot of people like this tongue better and it comes on specific colorways but for this pair all white again you cannot go wrong it's somewhat similar to the neutral gray jordan one loads that i wear a ton but at a hundred dollars if you can't find anything it's either this or the next shoe that i'm showing you that is a staple you can wear all the time and this this is a good silhouette because if you don't like the next silhouette which is a little bit chunkier i think this is the way to go so for hundred dollars i thought we should throw these in there it was these or a purple jordan one mid purple white and black but i thought a lot of people would rather wear a shoe like this than that one and it has like the workings or like the look of nicer buttery leather but it, it's kind of nice but not like what it looks like so as i was talking about the next one is going to be one that's finally sitting back in stores the all white air force one at 110 dollars they actually only had them at one of the four stores we went to so 110 obviously a little bit higher but the fact that you can get these a lot of people we just did a video with nade shot you guys might be seeing soon if you guys don't remember optic nade shot but he's a hundred thieves now he wears these every day now he has like off-white chicago's and whatnot this is what he wears every day and i think this is such a staple sneaker to have because you can wear it with literally anything works really good with light blue jeans with black jeans so we had to pick those up at 110. those are staples you couldn't get these at the mall for a while and they're sitting at resale stores for like 150 170 but now you can finally start to find them all right so less of uh, the pale white colorways let's move on jordan one low this is a women's nine jordan one low and i like these because of the colorway this is a blue and white jordan one low again the tongue that's a little bit different really cool blue color retail on these is i believe 90 dollars so receipts around here somewhere and i think it's a really cool colorway i think this is like a la dodgers colorway which not for me i'm a Braves fan but the colorway is cool the silhouette is cool and i think summertime everybody's wearing jordan one lows right now and i think th honestly i feel like if these weren't mass released i think if it was like a limited run they would do pretty well pretty cool there great colorway the blue and the white and i think you can't go wrong okay next one up uh let's get away from nike for a second we'll save that one for last we're gonna get away from nike in Foot Lockers and Champs now, you can find these New Balance 550s, which for a long time have been very kind of hard to get and reselling certain collaborations. But now there's some cool colorways coming out that you can get. The New Balance 550 in the black and white colorway. If you like that silhouette, boom, you can get it for retail. And retail on these, 110 bucks. Not bad at all for the leather quality you're getting there. So I think that's a pretty cool pair. Something different from Nikes. I know we have a lot of Nikes. Things that we couldn't find in the mall were like Yeezy Slides and Yeezy 350s. We didn't really see those. Uh, but I think this specific mall we went to, I think it was less than we expected. I thought there would be like more pairs because we go to store like malls that have like 12 different stores. So maybe we'll do this again at like, I think Lenox Mall would be a good one here in Atlanta because they have an Adidas store, a Nike store. So maybe we'll try that. But New Balance 550, a very popular silhouette. And especially for back to school, I think this is a really good one. And uh, Comfort in Souls, cool colorway. And they had two other colorways that was like a mint green and uh, like a bluish. Okay, last one. Be True Nike SB. This is one that is sitting at like a couple random stores. So if you don't know, this is for the Pride Month. This is a sneaker that came out. And it's an SB, which we've been wearing more lately here on the channel. And if you can tell, an all white SB, kind of similar to those. This one obviously has the Pride Month aspect to it. It says Be True there, has the rainbow stitching. And does this cut away, Nick? It's completely, all the paint that's white on there is wipeable. So this is all wipeable. As you can kind of see right there, some yellows creaking through. And uh, it also has like the tongue, the stash tongue that has on like some of the Travis Scott's or the Grateful Dead. Our buddy Blake actually did a video where he uh, took away all of the paint on that. So I'll kind of put up a clip here so you guys can see. But if you can't tell like this part, you, I can kind of see like underneath the stuff coming out. So this pair wears away with time and different colors come out. Obviously you have the back there, different color heel tabs. Inside you have rainbow insoles that say be true. 
And uh, other than that, it's a very simple Nike SB and a cool little hit there on the bottom for Pride Month that happened last month. Cool one right here, a lot, three white shoes in three different silhouettes, SBs, Air Force Ones, and Jordan 1 Lows. Good options, as well as we have, obviously, New Balances, more Jordan 1 Lows, Dunk Highs. A shoe that they still had at the mall that was for retail, Jordan 1 High Heritage, going for 170 retail, I believe, still sitting in the mall. I still have a pair. We got a couple of these at the mall before, and they're still sitting there, so I think that's a great one. Another one that's going under retail, this pair right here, a nice pair of Nike Dunks. A lot of Dunks are also going for retail or below retail on different sneaker apps. And that's just reminding you if you didn't watch the top 10 back to school sneakers. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of all the pairs here. Which of these would you pick? Obviously, these are not the best pairs in the world, but for what we could find at the mall, I think it's getting better and better because we struggled for a long time. We would go to the mall to film these videos and leave without a video because we were like, there's nothing for us here. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Harrison signing out.